Black Friday is here and with that we are getting a new event that also includes some new tank actually a tier 10 tank which is a hull down heavy because we don't have any just yet and it is of course coming in crates yes it is going to be in crates and the job chat is going to be pretty low 0.5% chance with some charms as well I'm not too sure about the exact deal there we will see whenever it's starting tomorrow but let's quickly talk about the tank do you actually need it is it a good deal for you let's find out here so what is the tank actually like? The tank kind of looks like some 50 TP or so. It is a hull down heavy tank, as said. It has a lot of hit points, almost 3 point or 2.7k, which is getting into the super heavy terrain. And you are also having reactive armor on top, which decreases the damage taken by 27%, which can be very helpful. But it is not the only tank that has this characteristic, of course. Let's circle back to that later on. Well, this tank also has a fairly high alpha damage of 490 damage per shot, which is actually quite great. There are few tanks that are higher than that. Just the 60TP, 114SP2 and the E100 with a big gun that I do not recommend playing anymore, by the way. But hey, this tank is otherwise just not having great accuracy. It's, it's mostly being played for the armor that it has. It has really strong turret armor, decent hull armor, and it looks good in those regards. Mobility is okay it's not bad not great either it is mostly doing fine but is that enough that is the question that you will have to answer here that you will have to ask yourself as well before purchasing this tank potentially and my answer would be mm, let's compare first if we are looking at the armor in detail here, this tank does have really strong armor when seen with AP or APCR with a standard ammunition of any tank. But if the enemy switches over to heat or the premium ammo, then the tank looks entirely different and it just reveals some big weak spots to the front right beneath or right beside the gun and also the cupola can get penetrated. But you have to keep in mind that most people are just not using premium ammunition in their games. So often you are having a great chance of not being penetrated and having a nice hull down tank with a nice alpha damage but just keep in mind whenever you're facing a strong player they are going to pen you anyways but what about the playstyle? Is it actually nice? Well, I could say that actually the tank is having some very easy playstyle because you're having this high alpha gun, you're having decent armor. So that enables you to just play this tank quite aggressively on some ridge lines. You can just face the enemies and you can put out some 490 damage shots on average into the enemy while mostly only taking like 400 damage or so in return, which isn't that great for the enemies, of course. But we also have to keep in mind that this tank only he has six degrees of gun depression which is not outstanding at all and there are better alternatives are we there yet i think we can talk about the alternatives and of course there is one main competitor in the current meta which is the amx m4 and the amx m4 does not have the same alpha damage it's down to 450 compared to the 490 here again of the 116 f3 but the m4 also has better armor on the turret it does have otherwise the hull is kind of similar the amx is also faster and that enables you to get into hull down positions a bit more easily a bit faster and also you're having eight degrees of gun depression but the amx has a large cupola on top and the sides are kind of weak and also it is a freaking huge tank if you compare those two side by side the amx cannot really hide anywhere the turret roof is also kind of weak so if you are trying to hide behind a rock or so you're going to be penetrated from both potentially and that can of course be very annoying about the amx Still, I think that the AMX is the much better choice because it also has the reactive armor and as said, it has better mobility, it has also high alpha gun, it has a strong turret and everything that makes this tank unique, the 116, is also there on the AMX, if not better. If you want a high alpha gun, just with a big shot than more than 460 then maybe go for the 60 tp instead which is also better in my opinion otherwise you're also having the is7 which is also free just like the 60 tp you don't have to buy any crates for that the is7 is also having great armor high alpha damage of 460 and just as the 60 tp the is7 does have tungsten rounds which are a lot more fun in my opinion in random games for sure 
Maybe one more thing to note here is that the AMX has APCR as a standard ammunition and not a best penetration, while the 116 has AP, which usually means that you are having more penetration there. But honestly, it doesn't really matter all too much if you are in the battle. And just to say it here one more time, both tanks are horribly inaccurate. Forget about shooting on the move, you're going to fluff a lot of shots. But who is this tank actually for? So I think this tank is actually fine for the average player. They won't really notice that an AMX M4 is potentially just a slight bit better than this one. For the average guy, it's just absolutely fine to go for the 116 F3 and it is going to be fun potentially. If you enjoy some heavy, heavy tank gameplay, then it might be just the right thing for you. But of course, it's going to be freaking expensive unless you are really, really lucky. But I suggest that you are not buying any crates and not count on your luck and rather keep the gold for some Black Friday deals or maybe the auction which is coming in December as well. Let's maybe go for some live games, shall we? But before that, let's quickly talk about equipment and also the loanout of this tank. So let's take a look at that. So for the equipment, I'm going absolutely for my standard setup here. You may want to go for calibrated shells instead of rammer if that is better for you. You may also go for supercharger. I don't mind. I won't just judge you for that. It's absolutely to personal taste. Maybe it can be considered that enhanced armor makes sense on this tank as well. I I don't think it really makes a difference. So just standard equipment setup here, standard ammunition setup as well, enough heat for sure as well, enough HE, enough AP, you don't struggle with the ammunition. Also very important here about this tank is that you are actually having enhanced sandbag armor. So really please do make sure to take them with you, otherwise you are going to miss out on some great benefit that this tank has to offer. Also, you are having the reactive armor. You could potentially consider to just go for reactive armor instead of adrenaline if you feel like that's more of an advantage because the newer special consumer builds are mostly better than the old ones like adrenaline is and you could then go for double repair kits instead. But I think I just want the reactive armor and the adrenaline as well and I'm pretty fine with that choice. So far I don't really know if there's going to be any legendary camo on release because I'm playing on a press account right before that is going to happen. So let's get into a game. Oh and just mind you, I'm typically a touch player, not PC, so I hope that my aiming will be acceptable here. Alright, we are starting on Castilla. I'm of course on my 116 F3, on not mine because it's not mine account, but hey, we don't care. So we are playing here, getting late into the game, we are having a medium lineup on the enemy side, which is not great for a slow tank that I'm playing here. So I still want to go against the mediums because I don't really expect any heavy tanks to go for the heavy side, even maybe there are going to be some campers, but if there is any one is probably not a great player and they are just going to be useless over there unless it is one of those rare situations where the whole team is going for the medium side i've got a camper over there who doesn't have any spotters that's not good but hey i don't care about that i expect there to be some guys not doing anything on both sides of the field here so let me just go forwards my teammates are already trading poorly maybe not so much but i'm i just need to get there in the first place so that's of course always a bit of a thing if you are playing some slow heavy tanks an interesting move there by the kranwagen just going through the middle and having some nice crossfire early on which got to be a little bit annoying for me but hey i don't care about the kranwag because it's quite unlikely that i will get in multiple shots there let's try a big shot into the bad shot there and i get in one he is down to one shot which is great i can maybe just hold here for the moment because my teammates are on top i don't want to push those guys because you don't want to be on a low ground usually you try to take some higher ground and uh, it looks like nothing's happening here for now Okay, I'm not going to be all too useful. Let's actually make sure that I also move up the hill. We're already down two tanks, by the way. The SU is pushing in into a tortoise. We'll likely die. Okay, big armor rack there of 21 damage. Okay, okay, we are having a lot of tanks less than the enemies, but it's not lost yet. Tortoise is quite low and out of the fight. Kranwagen is going to be a pain, but hey, I can fight him here and we are down uh four tanks versus the enemies i mean that doesn't look good that's going to be a defeat most likely <laughs> and i'm also getting shot from the side there but it, it's not a tortoise even it's something else maybe the budget maybe the murat that the enemies are having or murat uh french tank uh, i could not spot him interesting so i don't like the situation i'm in right now to be honest i'm i'm still I mean, I'm 
I'm having some backup right there, but I don't know how well they are covering me. Let's maybe move up the hill a little bit again. The E50 is kind of far away. I cannot really push him. And let's use my reactive armor. Look at this, 256 damage taken only. That is really not a lot. I can absorb some damage like this. Make sure that I'm trying, or make sure that I'm staying alive for longer than if I did not have this available. But I'm also getting shot by the bat shot again. And this guy is, oh my gosh, this bounce there. Yeah, this doesn't look good. This doesn't look good at all. Yeah, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. I'm very dead. Unless I get an armor rack there, it's already critically... Oh my gosh, 562. <laughs> nice high roll here. <laughs> All right. But for now, I'm just not really able to make much use of my tank's abilities here because I'm just having a hull down tank and not really getting to play hull down. Unless the Muad is doing some big mistake or... Oh my gosh. How am I already getting shot from behind? That's a light tank. Can I get another high roll? Yes, it is a nice high roll, but just not enough. Maybe I can stay alive here. Okay, no, I cannot. <sighs> but generally, with a tank like this, you're trying to be kind of aggressive and try to be the one just absorbing some shots or not necessarily damage. You want to be the one to get shot because otherwise your teammates are going to be shot, which are usually having less armor, which are not having the hit points and which are also not having reactive armor. So play this tank quite aggressively as long as you're having teammates with you and get your gun into the fight at all times. And that's the main thing here. Okay, I like this lineup a lot better. Also, the map is suiting my tank better because we are having three heavies on either side. So we are likely to face some guys here on the heavy side as well. Also, two Mets versus two. All right, nothing to worry about here for now. And let's just move forward here and see what's going on. This might go anywhere here. We already have some information about the enemies actually probably being all on that heavy side here. I think I will just move up quite far to the front here try to support my teammates s conk is out of the fight for now t22 might get pushed onto can i get the gun down here okay let's just try to no let's try to help out on the left side because the t22 is really struggling there let's actually use the adrenaline before shooting for the increased module damage 15 percent higher chance of getting an armor rack in betcha really has to back off here Okay, let's try to focus this light tank. Fluffing this shot, unfortunately, because the gun, as said, is really not accurate at all. It looks like we are about to lose the second tank. I can also not shield or anything. It's just going to be a dead badger very soon. Let's make sure I'm not blocking him either. Okay, he can fall back for now. That's great. s -Conk is not causing any trouble to the side. Can I actually shoot? The concept will have a very strong turret facing me. Going to be pretty much impossible. Maybe over there. Not quite, not quite, not quite. Come on, please. But the Leo should have him. So let's see. Let's chill for a moment and see what I can actually be doing here. Uh, it would be amazing if I could take out 263. And also if the Leo would be able to kill the flank there. So I would have that. Okay, that's not good. I should have maybe used the reactive armor before getting shot. He also has reactive and better DPM as well. Let's use reactive armor right now and fall back here. Concept is also pushing me. Okay, here you can really see the amazing effect of reactive armor. Oh my gosh, this gun. Ah, all right. All right, let's fall back here. It looks like I'm not even getting focused, but still I wanna, I wanna fall back and still get a shot, please. Yes, very nice, 573. Very big roll again. Of course, you're having 490 alpha damage on average, so that is not what is usually happening to get such high rolls. I don't really know what is the max roll right now, uh, but I, okay, what is happening on the other side? The Leo is struggling, but also in a 1v1 against a one shot. At the same time, I get another big high roll. Tortoise down to one shot, 263 one shot. Okay, okay, we got a chance here. Well, we definitely have a chance. 3v3 or three tanks down on either side. That's looking good for now. We can kill the left side as well. Light tank. Oh, that, okay, concept. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Yes, I can take him out. That's great. Okay, looks like it's going to be a win. I can just use my reactive armor and push in here. I mean, not even needed, honestly. But hey, it's a win, actually. 
and me just trying to be at the, at the front line here and still putting in some aggression here was all that was needed just making sure that i was also try, trying to stay alive of course but I think that maybe helps you just get a good taste of what this tank is actually like. But again, it's a great tank, so maybe rather for the collectors or maybe just spend a bit, try to get it. Otherwise, really just save the gold for the auction if you do need some tier 10 tanks because they are going to be the best deals. Uh, otherwise, I'm also going to have some giveaways this month for some more tanks as well. So stay tuned for that. So make sure to subscribe and see you on my next streams.